case, this question says write as a single logarithm. Now we've already got three logarithms sort of defined there, and then we've got this plus one at the end. I want to try and think about maybe writing that as a logarithm, okay? Because one, right, is a special sort of logarithm. So when we deal with this here now, right, um, that just stays the same, doesn't it? There's nothing we can do with that. That's just log to the base five of 16. Here though, we can use laws of logs here. We can take that two up, can't we? Okay, so it becomes a power like that, yeah? Just take it up. And the same here, we can take that half up. So it becomes log to the base five of one, two, nine, six, the power one half. Now, as I said, one is in fact a special logarithm, okay? Because in this case here, the logarithm, okay, if we, if we get the logarithm equal to one, okay, in a the sense then the power is one, all right? The power is one, which simply means then we need to have a log, okay? In this case, of course, it's base five, of five, okay? So that's what one will be defined as there. Okay, so, you know, if you, um, if you um, type that into your calculator, it'll come out as one, all right? So, um, one, we can write as a logarithm, okay? Whatever base you want, in this case, it's base five, because all the others are base five, but then it'll be of five, okay? So you do that for one, whatever base you want, just make sure these are the same, okay? So then we can um, work that out, three squared is nine, and then we can work out that. So remember, one, two, nine, six, the power half, was, let's just work that out on a calculator. So it's just a square root of that, three, one, two, nine, six, and you get 36. And what you should do here is work left to right, okay? So here now, okay, you've got these two terms and we are taken away, yeah? So you need to write that as a single logarithm. Um, and because you take it away, when you put them together as a single logarithm, you divide the terms, okay? So as I said, work left to right and work in with pairs of logarithms at a time. So on the next line now, you can see, okay, let's put this pair together because we're adding the logarithms. We um, multiply the terms. So this will be log to base 5 of 16 over 9 times 36 plus then log to the base 5 of 5. Now, when I work that out, that's going to be just 64, okay, when you work that out there plus log to the base five of five. And then the same rule again, then when you put these together, right? Because you're adding them, you put them together, you simply times the terms so we get our answer there. So this becomes log to the base five, 320.